The phrase break a leg is no joke to soprano Sandra Radvanovsky, born in Berwyn, Illinois. The soprano has a successful international career and she's here tonight to tell us about her recent physical misfortunes and her exciting role as Elvira in Lyric Opera's production of Ernani. Sandra, welcome to Chicago tonight and welcome back to your hometown Thank you. of, uh, of Chicago, although uh, you were born in Berwyn. I was born and raised, moved out to St. Charles where my mom still lives. Hi, mom. <laughs> and your brothers are still in the area. My brothers in Geneva, yeah. But when you were young, you uh, moved to Richmond, Indiana, which a small town, but it happens to have an opera company? It does. That's where I, I actually made my operatic debut at 11 years old as one of the smoke girls in Carmen. Looked a slightly out of place, holding a cigarette, <laughs> asking the girls on stage, how, how do I hold this? I don't know. Yeah, and there you go. That's how it all began. You've been described, your voice has been described as that of a true Verdi. And for people who don't know opera, what exactly does that mean? Oh, boy. Um, Verdi really demands a lot of the singer. He demands a singer to sing high, to sing low, to sing loud and soft, everything, really. And it's really like fo vocal gymnastics that he requires all the singers to do, plus act on top of it. But in terms of the uh, voice itself, I mean, there's a certain power that's required for Verdi. There the ability is. to control it, of course, but yeah. you, you, you've got to have the horsepower. Yeah, the thrust. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, like uh, driving a Ferrari instead of a Volkswagen. You know, you really have to have that fine-tuned engine. <laughs> well, uh, y your, your engine got a little uh, dent in it recently. <laughs> 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 uh, and I know you're probably yeah. tired of talking about no, your injuries, no. but, but uh, kind of a double whammy. I kind of a double whammy because yeah. right now you're performing with a... You have a cast on one foot yes. uh, with a torn ligament Correct. and a broken toe on the other foot. Yes. Uh, uh, give, us, give us the 25, se uh, 25 words or less description oh. of what happened. Oh, well, I was in San Francisco singing Il Trovatore, another Verdi opera. Was mugged um, on Venice Avenue. Didn't get anything. The gentleman did not get my purse. I fell to the ground. You use the term gentleman loosely. but Well, yeah, he was person. not a gentleman. No. Yeah, the person that mugged me. Um, sprained my ankle. The next day I had a show. I was running off stage and I heard something snap in my ankle and unfortunately tore the ligament. Two days later had the last show. The tenor was being so kind to me and he fell to his knees like, why God, a boom, on my left foot and broke my toe. So I am hobbling around, needless to say, and the stage here is not exactly level. It's uh, it's raked. It's at an angle yeah. so that the audience gets a better view of the performance. Yeah, good for the so audience. <laughs> 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 well, does, uh, does it impact your ability to negotiate the stage, the fact that you have a cast on one foot and a broken toe on the other? Well, I'd like to say no, but um, it does hurt, I have to say. Every night I go home, I put my feet up, and I go, okay, another day done, another day done. So... But, you know, the show must go on. Isn't that the phrase? I think so. I, yeah. think, I've, I think I've heard yeah. that for a time. I, I've, um, you also recently revealed that uh, a few years ago you had surgery on one of your vocal cords. I did. And my understanding is that in the opera world, that's something that singers wouldn't in the past have talked about. Yeah, it's totally taboo, and it shouldn't be, and that's why I decided to come out and say something about it. Because other prominent singers. Have other also prominent. Talked, yeah. Rolando Villazon right now is one very prominent that just had surgery. Natalie to say both of whom have sung here, I think. But it's like a, a football player having knee surgery. It's as common as that. And my circumstances were a little different in that I was born with an impediment on one of my vocal cords. And you didn't know that for the longest I, time. I didn't know, and I learned to sing with an impediment, and then I had it removed, and then I had to relearn how to sing. So, gosh darn it. How was the voice it. different now since surgery? You know, it's hard to describe. There's no glitches in it. It's like a car. Every car has its quirks. And um, I don't have any quirks in my car anymore. It's like driving a Rolls Royce. I, it does what I ask of it. If I ask it to sing soft, it'll sing soft. And, and I'm very, very fortunate because not everybody comes out of that surgery unscathed. And Do I you ever worry about losing your voice? Absolutely. Every day of your life. You know, it's living as an opera singer. We are slightly like nuns. Are, are women are like nuns in that, you know, I don't smoke, I don't drink heavily, I don't go to big football games, but I still live my life, and, and that's more important to me in a way is living life and enjoying life. Sandra Radmanovsky, thank you so much for being here. We're glad you're thank back you. in Chicago, and we look forward to hearing you in just a moment.